Are you facing a lot of issues with blue screen of death errors and you are unable to fix them? So this video is for you guys. I will guide you how to repair the windows. And I hope you have already run the system file checker and DISM command on your windows. So if those are also not working, so this video is for you. This will solve all the issues regardless whatever issue you have on your windows whatever the stop code it has it is rebooting stucking lagging whatever issues is you are facing on your windows it is rebooting not responding stucking so i'm going to fix that issue with the iso file you just need to click on head over to this website whether you are using windows 10 or 11 like if you are using the windows 10 step will be same for all both two version I just need to click on this option basically our goal is to download the ISO file from here select multi edition hit download now choose the language United States confirm it and similarly we need to download the windows 10 media creation tool and for windows 11 direct iso file is there you just need to click on this option once you have click on this option you need to wait here until the iso file is downloaded for windows 11 for windows 10 just run the this exe media creation tool and with the help of media creation tool we will able to make the ISO file on our windows you just need to click on this option getting a few things ready you will see the windows like this and you don't need to reset the PC or reinstall a fresh window in order to fix the issues so I got many comments that if they are able to fix the issue without the reset or reinstalling the fresh window so I can say yes you can fix the issues with the help of this method this process will help the fresh files from the windows iso file and will replace the corrupted file on our windows so this is very powerful method one of the best method as general you have to accept terms and conditions here in order to make the iso of windows 10 for windows 11 you just need to follow the steps which i have already shown you and make sure you have enough internet connection enough data since this process is going to take 4 to 5 gb of your data now you need to click on this option create installation media okay for another pc leaves as it is next and from here select the ISO file hit next and once you select next choose the ISO location where you want to download it let's say if you want to give it a download just click on save and this process is going to save the ISO file on the selected location so this is the process this will go to 100% I have already download that ISO file let me show you how to run the ISO file after that you need to mount the ISO file here let me show you how to mount the ISO file head over to the location where you have downloaded the ISO file and right click on it and simply mount it whether you are using Windows 10 or 11 and double click on setup.exe this option just double click on it once you double click on it you will see the preparing windows just need to click next getting updates I have run the windows 10 ISO file you can run the windows 11 if you are using if you are using windows 10 then you can go for a windows 10 ISO
now here is the most important part in this video guys you need to take this option key personal files and app okay make sure you select that option if you are not able to click that option it means your hardware is not supported for that version of windows 11 or 10 so you need to make sure key personal files and app are selected and once you have select that option uh, you need to click on next option you will see the windows like this install windows 11 pro whatever version you have key personal files and app and you need to click on install now once you have click on install now you will see the windows like this once you have click on install now and your windows installation will be done after 100 percent and your all the issues will be fixed since we have repaired our windows with the fresh iso file so i hope guys after applying these methods you are able to save your programs and files and videos on your windows without resetting or reinstalling windows so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching